Okay, once I have my projects correctly uh, set up and configured, I'm ready to start a new uh, project. In this case, we're going to draw a part, so we're going to click New, and again, the part templates are identified by the .ipt extension. I'm just going to use the default standard part template and click on OK. And now in the uh, inventor uh, interface you should, should see a area to sketch which kind of resembles AutoCAD but not exactly. It doesn't have all the features that AutoCAD has when you're drawing in AutoCAD. It does have the view cube for example which allows you to look at things in different from from different 3D view, view points or perspectives. Uh, it does have the uh, ribbon at the top that has icons for many of the commands and tabs for different uh, panels to be viewed within the ribbon. But one thing it does have that AutoCAD doesn't have is the uh, browser bar. And as you create things in Inventor, they will appear in this browser bar, browser panel. And this will be very important as you'll see later on. So, before we start sketching, let's check one uh, variable. Let's go to the Tools tab and click on the Document Settings icon. And let's adjust our uh, Sketch tab. And this is where you'll find how to control the uh, snap spacing in Inventor when you're sketching. Uh, if you've been one of my AutoCAD students using AutoCAD, uh, we relied heavily on uh, grid snap for helping keeping our drawings accurate. And by default, this template we're using uh, utilizes a 16th inch snap. And for our first drawing, we don't need something that quite that precise. So let's change this to an eighth of an inch. Actually, let's use a quarter of an inch. So and type in a quarter of an inch, it will actually convert that to decimal for me. So 0.25 inches is going to be our snap spacing. And you can play with your grids, how, how you want those uh, to be displayed right now. Uh, I'm going to go with one grid snap per minor and a major every four minor lines. So basically, Basically, when you, and I hit OK, I didn't mention that, but when you hit OK and you see your grids now, each one of these little squares should be a quarter of an inch, and each of the thicker uh, grids should represent one inch.